Hello and welcome to update 4 on Hurricane Sally, currently at 29.2 degrees north, 88.2 degrees west at this time as of 2 p.m. Central Daylight Time this September the 15th. You can see it there as it is bearing down on the Mississippi-Alabama coast. We're going to be going into more detail on just how the storm's looking right now. It's continued to weaken slightly since our last update yesterday, now with winds of 80 miles per hour, but in pressure it's actually gotten more intense, down to 982 millibars. It's moving northwest at 2 miles per hour. It's at a crawl right now and it's a stage 5 on the CDPS scale compared to the stage 6 yesterday. It's been wobbling between stage 5 and 6. In the event it does restrengthen to a category 2, you can't expect that stage ticker to go back up to 6. So, this is as of 2 p.m. Central Daylight Time, and the storm is continuing to head towards the Mississippi-Alabama region. So you can see again there that stage 5 for Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. Wind speed significant, storm size moderate to significant, rainfall potential major starting to get into the extreme area and could become extreme in the event that that 30 inch rain core does move over land, in which case we could see over 30 inches of rain in some spots, that's over 2 feet, and the overall threat to land is significant to major. So again, that means devastating damage is possible with this storm, and that's definitely something to keep in mind. Regardless of whether it's a Category 1 or 2, this will still be a potent and dangerous storm and something that should be taken seriously. So here's that Tropical Storm Force wind field that is over land now. There are areas experiencing tropical storm conditions throughout Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida right now, and the storm will likely make landfall later today into tomorrow. We'll have more details on that on the cone here in just a little bit. So here's how far away the storm is from land from Biloxi. It's about 78 miles away from Pensacola, 82 miles away from Mobile, also 82 miles away. It's about 84 miles away from Gulfport and about 123 miles away from New Orleans. You can see those watches and warnings there with storm surge warnings, hurricane warnings, and tropical storm warnings all in effect at this time. So let's take a look at how we've estimated our intensity for this storm, currently at 80 miles per hour. This is also at the National Hurricane Center. Thanks, Recon supports this, and RAM Multi-Platform supports this. 85 miles per hour is now supported by our satellite estimates, but of course, Recon does take precedence over satellite in storms like these. So again, there is that cone, 80, 80 miles per hour is what's expected. A landfall is probably going to occur around 7 a.m. Wednesday morning if the NHC cone is to be believed, as you can see there. When it comes to rainfall totals, that 15-inch contour, those pinks, much farther inland than they were just a little bit ago. And you can see now some, uh, some rumblings of some 20s in there, a few spots of 20 on there, but locally higher amounts, over 30 inches again, are possible. May not happen but they're certainly possible. You should be preparing, especially if you're in the uh, Alabama coastline, as if 30 inches of rain is going to fall within the next couple of days. Sea surface temperatures, as you can see, a little lower where the storm is right now than they were yesterday. A lot of that's because the storm's been there. You can see still around 28 to 29 degrees Celsius, more than enough to keep this storm going. So here is the wind field and the chance of tropical storm force winds there near 100% for the Alabama coastline. You can see there in Mississippi as well, also having a quite high chance. We can see their mobile right in the middle of that 90 to 100% contour, near 100% chance of tropical storm force winds there. You can see there for the chances of hurricane force winds, looks like the epicenter for land at least is going to be near Mobile, Alabama. And you can see there the uh, 60 to 70% nearly heading into that general area. But you can see there those chances do go down rather rapidly once we get off the coast. So what are models looking like? Well, when it comes to intensity, most models say that Sally has either peaked or is going to peak within the next 12 hours before intensity does drop off as it does begin to make landfall. Why is that? Well, first of all, wind shear is going to be going up. It's already at 25 to 30 knots right now, and it's expected to continue to increase with time here. Other than that, you can see track does ran into land. That's going to be the other real weakening factor for it as sea surface temperatures will be good up until landfall and mid-level relative humidity will be supportive of strengthening. So really at this point, shear is going to be the only thing stopping it as well as itself. So let's take a deeper dive into that satellite imagery, how it's looking, and you can see there it's looking quite good. New puffs of convection coming off in the past few frames there, and you can see those minus 80s relatively widespread starting to head over land there. Um, indicative of a powerful storm, and it could even strengthen upon landfall. Right now, the National Hurricane Center forecasting that it has peaked. You can follow our outlets. First of all, the website, force13.com, with new articles coming out all the time for your reading pleasure about all things weather. 
youtube.com forward slash force 13 with our tropical weather bulletins, animations, and tropical updates. You can also find us on Facebook for more information on those things. And then also on Twitter, we have the U.S. branches and AU branches on there as well, but you can see the URL below. teespring.com slash store slash force 13. That's where you can find things like the smug mug to buy. And finally, the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash force 13 where you can support the project and help it become even better.